everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. We still need to get a companion, apparently. Not too concerned about that, though. Not sure if this episode is late or on time. My sleeping's been a bit fucked up. So, I have no idea. Be complete by night. Do I have any food on me? I do not. Many months, several months. Hmm. So, those are actually growing at least. That's good. Hmm. Not sure what I wanted to do. What I want to do. Can I write cap or sale? No. Too small to be worth it right now. So I'm going to check the traps real quick, and assuming they're empty, I'm going to expand the fence, I think. Seems like a good idea. What are our skills looking like? Our trapping is still terrible, of course, but our tracking and cookery have gone up a lot. Hmm. What's our stealth looking like? Bad, of course. Bow skill's not bad. all old tracks, I guess. Do I have the shovel with me? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. I'm kind of surprised I remembered that. Or maybe I had the foresight to put it in. I don't know. Surprised I had it with me. enough wood for eight of them at least. Oh, we have enough for one more actually. Might as well make it. I think I want to put the hole here. And rest off the fatigue before we do this. Cut that down. Convolt this over to someplace useful. Some more branches too. Should be more than enough. Fence the spot off.
prompt over here. Alright, well, that's enough for right now because our hide should be done. And we're getting close to hungry anyway. Well, it's not quite done. Well, we need to eat anyway. And I think I need to check the fire and go to bed. Today we're probably going to have to spend all day working on this, this hide to get finished. Yeah, this is going to take all day. Fuck. Oh well. I should have dropped those wooden spikes because it's going to give us a slight penalty to quality, I think. Fuck. Oh, well. I'm not too concerned about it. Mm. Decent. Okay, we don't lose anything, really. something running away. Oh, wow. Pretty close to home. There's something running away. Ah, there you are. we're going to catch it, but it's so close to home, I might as well try. Hmm, no. Not going to happen. I'm just gonna sleep here for the night. Never mind, no I'm not. I'm gonna build a little bit more fence here. Cut off areas where there are tracks, basically. And then fill in the gaps in the fence that I'm leaving with the pits.
fire alarm here. That's out. That's out. Seems to be enjoying himself there. Well, I'll worry about him later. I'm running a bit low on these stakes. But I want to just fence off a decent chunk of this area. How many do I have? Um, apparently that was the last one. Okay. So now I'm filling these gaps with holes. And the reason I'm not going out into the mire is because I don't think I can dig there anyway, but even if I can, being able to sort of cut them off this way in a corner is nice, especially if I'm trying to like force them in. Having a corner here to catch them if they try to go south helps. And I'm probably going to expand out this way more too, eventually. Dig. So which do I need? Get out of the hole. Spruce twigs, I still need some more branches anyway, so I'll cut those down while I'm here. I can't remember if the trap pit is four or five. <coughs> Sorry about that. Slender trunks. <coughs> Sorry. So it was fine until I started recording. But, well. Here we are. And there. It seems like a pretty decently set up trap fence, really. Some of the pits are kind of close together, which could be a problem, but I don't think it will be.
Kind of need to set up a fence around here, I think. with me. I thought I collected a few. Nope. <coughs> Gonna make a couple more things of cord. to make a couple more arrows, I think. More batches of arrows, rather. And having access cord is always good, really. Just our little sheep friend. Sucks using inferior cords, I guess, but I don't want to use decent ones on arrows. I'd rather use them on like a bow or something. Decent to rough. And too rough and a curved. Okay. Well, the curved arrow was pretty bad, but the rest are usable at least. Need more firewood. So I'm gonna split firewood from block. <coughs> Do this a couple times. This isn't a particularly exciting episode, I guess. But it's all stuff that I need to do. just part of the game, really. Sometimes you get these less exciting stretches where all you're doing is making arrows or <coughs> expanding your trap fence. But it needs to be done.
just let him go. He's fine. She actually thinks the boys are stags. So, she's okay. Hmm. Don't really want curved arrows. It's about as low quality as an arrow gets, I think. So, probably not worth holding on to. He's all doing. Not bad. Mostly he's only had one take root, apparently. Yeah, it's not doing too terribly though. some decent quality cordage. Which is why I picked up these decent stag furs. I like having inferior for arrows and for the um like smoking and drying and stuff. But I would rather use decent for bows and things like that. And I'm going to be making a couple bows to try and sell. Also I think our carpentry could use the work. I'm resting like that because fatigue does influence your chances a little bit I think. And I don't want to waste much of this decent hide. I'd rather not, anyway. It's a pretty long shot. Missed. to stealth well. How close are you? Not close enough, especially with the rough arrow. <laughs> the elk balls at me. As it stays in the open, it shouldn't be too hard to catch up to. Like so. It's escaping. Yeah, the faster your opponent moves, it seems like the harder it is to actually hit it with an arrow. Or any attack, really. 
so I'm not too keen to shoot at it while it's escaping. For no other reason than because it's going to be hard to hit. And especially out here where there's no trees or anything to catch the arrows, I'm going to lose an arrow if I shoot it. Like, that's not even really a question. Where'd you go? Numerous and mixed. Asshole. Okay. That's tracks or bush. It's tracks heading west, heading northeast. It looks like it ran around in a circle. Harder to keep up with them in the woods. That's why normally when they go into the woods I just sort of stop running after them. But I kind of want this one. one for some reason. I don't even know why. Not like I need the food or anything. Thought that log was the elk for a second. <laughs> Getting paranoid. I see you. Hmm. Looks like it's running towards the forest and I want to keep it out of it. So I'm going to run up along the edge, I think. How tired are you? <coughs> Not tired enough is the answer. It's not even fatigued. And into the woods, right? Hmm, I guess not. Nope. Ran right past the trees. Turned southwest. 
Really? You're not very good at your job, Elk. That said, it is keeping me at a safe distance, so I can't even shoot it. So maybe I'm not giving it enough credit. <laughs> it's entirely possible. stop going through the water like that. It slows you down so much. Ooh. Where'd you go now? This way? Looks like it. Northeast still. Are you still fatigued? Or did you rest? You rested. Eventually he's going to get into the woods, and now I'm going to lose him. I'd rather not have that happen, but I don't think I can avoid it right now, because it's really outrunning me. Where having a slightly faster character does come in handy though, because if our speed were lower than this, we would probably be moving at like 3 kilometers per hour instead of 6. I've done, I have chased down elk and stuff with slow characters, but it's really miserable. I don't recommend it. If your character's gonna be slow, rely on trapping, basically. You need a fast character if you want to do this reliably. And even then it's a bit hit or miss. For me anyway. I'm sure people who are better at the game can more consistently catch their prey, but I'm not one of those people. Wrong button. Well, it's slowing down a little bit, I think. Getting tired, at least. Chase it all the way to our trap fence in the north. Wow. This is a long chase. How tired are you? Good. Fuck you. Really? It's because it's escaping, I guess. Yeah, even at close range, if it's escaping, you have really low odds of hitting. Okay, got in the leg. Skull. <coughs> and this elk dragged on this episode a little bit longer than I planned to go, but at least we got him. Her, probably. Hard to tell when it's a sprite. It's pretty big though. I'm not gonna complain about it. I 
No. Fuck you, fox. I got an elk. Do not need a fox right now. Do I have any... Inferior cord? Three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the meat in there. Clean the hide. Should have dropped those hides before I chased it, but I think it came right up here. So it was sort of a spur of the moment hunt. I don't really care about losing rough arrows, by the way. That's why I didn't look for them. I'm going to start the side tanning. And I don't want to cut the episode before we have the meat hanging. To drop the good cord over here. up that harsh hide. So, well, we got 200 cuts, about, I think we only need about 8, so we should be good. I need to start the fire up again, too. Smoke, I'll cut 19. I think we only need seven or eight cords to do all of these. Because if we could put 20 on a cord, we would only need 5, I think. And I'm too lazy to do the math right now, but 6, 7, or 8, one of the three, should be enough. Right? No, I'm thinking of if we had 100, never mind. I'm dumb. We have twice as much meat as I thought we did for some reason. So, probably gonna need another four or five cords. I'm not saying much, just you've seen this a dozen times by now. I should probably start doing it off camera, but I don't want to. If I have to sit through this, so do you. should be enough. Anything left over we can just roast. Because it's not like we're running out of food. Yeah, I'll 
I'll just rest the fat and what's after this. on this a bit more and finally call an episode. <laughs> right. Finally calling it. See you guys next time. Bye.